Have you ever wondered how you can match your data when people use different abbreviations and nicknames in your data fields? For example, you may want to easily match your Elizabeth Marie Light, Lizzie Light, and Beth M. Light sales records to get a complete picture of her purchase history with your company. Keep watching and we will explore the power of the SAS match code for fuzzy matching your data. I am Mary Catherine Queen with SAS and this is the Technical Insights and Expertise Series. A match definition in the SAS Quality Knowledge Base is used to generate a match code. A match definition utilizes the strengths of probabilistic and deterministic matching when generating match codes. With a single pass through the data, the matching engine will produce an unambiguous match code that represents the identifying variables that have been selected by the user. Listed here are some of the match definitions provided in the SAS Quality Knowledge Base for contact information. Match definitions are created for specific data types, for example, name and organization, since the logic for generating their match codes would be different depending on the type of data. For example, the name match definition takes into account nicknames such as Mike for Michael. In the organization match definition, ignores words such as corporation. Therefore, Acme Corporation and Acme would generate the same match code using the organization match definition. The logic for these match definitions can also vary by locale, in other words, language and or country. For example, the logic for matching organization names would be different for English versus Spanish, and the logic for matching addresses would be different for the United States versus the United Kingdom, whereas the logic for matching email addresses would be defined at a global level. You can edit existing match definitions in the SAS Quality Knowledge Base or create custom match definitions to generate match codes to facilitate the fuzzy matching of other types of data. For example, you could create a match definition to generate match codes for your product names. A SAS match code represents the character content of an input string. If two input strings generate the same match code, then those two strings are intended to represent the same entity. Therefore, match codes are used to facilitate the fuzzy matching of data. The concept behind the match code is that two input strings do not need to exactly match in order to generate the same match code. The degree of similarity between strings that is used to generate the same match code is set by a numeric sensitivity value. By changing the sensitivity value, you change the number of matches between match codes. SAS match codes have a sensitivity range of 50 to 100. A low sensitivity value generates a simpler match code. Simpler match codes generate more matches for strings that are less similar. Higher sensitivity values generate more complex match codes, hence fewer matches, which reflects a higher degree of similarity between strings. The example displayed here shows the match codes generated using the name match definition in the English language locale at a sensitivity setting of 85. Note, all the variations of Elizabeth Light generate the same SAS match code. Therefore, all of these names would be considered a match to each other. Represented here is the high-level process of generating a SAS match code. First, the matching engine parses the data into its components. For example, in the case of name data, the string is parsed into the tokens of name prefix, given name, middle name, family name, and name suffix. Next, the data is uppercased, so all information will be in the same format. Also, items like extra spaces, punctuation, special characters, and noise words such as the and of are removed. Next, transformations are made using industry-leading data quality algorithms. For example, when using the name match definition at the English language locale level, Elizabeth and Liz are transformed to Beth behind the scenes to allow nicknames to generate the same match code. Next, phonetics are applied. For example, in English language match definitions, PH is changed to F since English words with PH sound like an F. Finally, the match code is generated based on the relevant components for the specified sensitivity selection. For example, the out-of-the-box name match definition for the English language locale at a sensitivity setting of 85 does not use the middle name token. However, at a sensitivity setting of 90, it uses the first character 
or initial from the middle name token. Regardless of the data source, the matching engine creates the same match code as long as the underlying data remains the same and the same match definition and sensitivity setting are selected when the match code is generated. This enables matching across multiple data sources without constantly reprocessing and re-indexing the data, which is something that probabilistic matching systems cannot do. It is time to look at the power of the SAS match code in action. Here I have a set of company and contact name data. I am generating a match code for the contact name field using the name match definition from the English United States locale at a sensitivity of 85. I preview the results to view the generated match codes. Next, I group the data based on where the generated match codes are the same. I preview those results to view which records matched. Notice that the Elizabeth Light records matched. So did the Pete and Peter Gibbons records and the Hank Scorpio and Henry Scorpio records, as well as the different spellings of Mike and Michael Scott. But within the Elizabeth Light records, Notice there's this Lizzie Light with a completely different company name. So even though through the power of the SAS match code, it fuzzy matched other records in the grouping based on the contact name field, its company's name is different from the other records in the grouping. This is a case where I would not want to fuzzy match on just one field. I may also want to generate SAS match codes for my company field and take that into account when fuzzy matching these records. Here I have the same set of company and contact name data. However, now I am generating match codes for both the contact name and company fields using their appropriate match definition from the SAS quality knowledge base. I preview those results to view the generated match codes for both of the fields. Then I am grouping on where both match codes are the same. I preview those results to view which records matched. Notice now I just have the Elizabeth Light records from the same company. However, that Lizzie Light record is now in its own grouping. You can choose to utilize the power of the SAS match code in whatever way you think is best for your data. SAS match codes can also be used to find matches between data sets since the match code generated is the same regardless of the source. As long as the underlying data, the match definition, and the sensitivity setting stays the same, then the same SAS match code will be generated every time a job is run to generate the match codes. Therefore, you can store match codes and only regenerate them when one of those three conditions changes. In other words, match codes only need to be regenerated if there is a change to the underlying source data, match definition, or sensitivity setting. The storage of match codes allow real-time services to quickly find matches between any incoming data and data you may have stored somewhere. For example, your customer service agent may want to perform a search to see if the person they are talking to on the phone is already an existing customer. Let's look at a demo that simulates that scenario. Here I have a real-time service job that generates match codes and standardizes information for the incoming data. It then performs a SQL lookup on a data set that has the match code and standardized information stored for the existing customer data to see if the incoming data fuzzy matches any of the existing customer records. This web page calls that data service using a REST API call. When I search for Liz Light, 
from NYC NY and select to get my matches, it returns the matching record from the existing customer dataset. Note that the matching record is not an exact match to the data I entered. The records were matched using the power of the SAS match code. For more information on SAS match codes and SAS data quality, refer to the SAS data management page on support.sas.com in the Data Management Community site. Thanks for watching this video on the power of the SAS match code. Stay tuned to the SAS Technical Insights and Expertise Series YouTube channel for more videos showcasing SAS products and functionality.